What's up guys? This is Glacial McCrothen and we're back with Amnesia the Dark Descent. So we're gonna go ahead and continue where we left off, which we had to go ahead and pick up four of the um chemical solutions. I forgot the names of them. There's like cuprite, um some other bung fung shit I don't really know right now. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and locate those down. So we're just gonna go ahead and go Oh wait, you know what? Shit. See, this is what I was talking about in part one. About, I have played the game, but I don't exactly remember shit. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Um, let me just kind of double check around here. Ooh, that's a nice screen we have. Uh, nothing here. Nothing, 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 nothing. Yeah, no. Four different chemicals are needed to continue. Hibi, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I don't think we do anything further in here. From what I remember, anyway. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and go back. Uh, I think we go to one of the... I think there's two doors actually upstairs that we have to go check. <laughs> and then we get the two of the chemicals there. I think we locate a key to the wine cellar. And then that's where we get the other two. Oh shit. Shit. Damn. Damn girl. What you do? Tinder box. How many of those do I have? 14. Okay. It's not bad, I guess. Let's see. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and go to archives. Because I believe that's where we find either the key or some of the solution. I don't really remember, to be honest. But we'll find out. May 1830. <laughs> But I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. So, okay. Basically, if you don't understand it, that's because it's not really that important. Daniel going on about his life. His life. Um, books. More books. Oh boy, another paper. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years, when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Okay. Someone really has a fucking rock-hard boner for Alexander. And we got ourselves another tinder box, and that'd be it. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, look at this ink! Okay, I guess it was empty. What? Open. Thank you. What the fuck? What the fuck? 
fuck? What the fuck, man? Alright. Oh, books. Let's just... Yep. It's not really a library until you throw books all over the place. Oh, I got... No, 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 no! Oh. The tinderbox, dude. 17th of May, oh, God, 1839. Man. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document... If your hands are trembling, you probably got low yeah, blood sugar. Eat something, dude. Fail me if I linger. Today, I took okay, I, I'm kind of breaking the promise I made about being quiet between these. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's so fucking boring. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved and ladies and gentlemen, you hear that? Me. When bad shit happens, you fight fire with fire. Lesson learned for today. The twisting path emerged. Send that to Princess Celestia. Chamber. The walls when in doubt, fight fire with fire. I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. Hey Daniel, I know you like going on, going on and on about your life-long story, but kind of doing a let's play. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Okay, great. Let's continue, please. Nope, some people want to listen to that shit, but some don't. Holy shit. Dude! What is that, a fucking glass butt plug? It fucking broke. I swear to god, I did not do that. Let's see, tin box. Actually, from my experience, I never really used the tinder boxes much. Fuck you, book. Green material socks! So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of randomly use them. Uh, well, I'm doing pretty good on thus far. Oh, it's open, we'll lock. And what was that? Memento? Move some line between a wine cellar. Yeah, I'm fully aware of that. I don't know. Okay, whatever, dude. Uh. What the fuck? What the fuck was that, dude? Oh, shit. Don't like that. Wait, how does Daniel not freak out when you hear like this random but well, uh, like a door swinging open, the lights turn out, or cockroaches just crawling on the ground? He freaks out from that, but no, a superstitious noise of the supernatural. No, that doesn't face him at all. I didn't interrupt the cutscene that time. That was the shit, I guess. I don't know. I can't like that. All right. Let's see, Tinder box. Um, books. Great. Daniel. 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 Enough with the fucking screwdrivers. Damn, dude. Fucking drinking problem. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity.
eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I oh, you were? Ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue... Well, then that's a good sign to stop drinking. To carry, but I managed yeah. To push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark... Oh, I gotta space, grab it. I felt myself... Oh! 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 No! 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 Oh! Oh! No! Oh! Oh! No! I'm gonna get it! No! I'm gonna get it! No! No! I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna touch it. I don't want to waste too much time. Faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. Okay, if you're seeing that shit, then you're probably smoking weed too. Or a, a hallucinative drug. Not really weed. Firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. And that will show itself later. It will be revealed. Fragile but not breakable my hand. Okay. What is that? Fucking night head. There. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Oh, I hate these cutscenes because it's so dim. You can never be too careful, Dan. I don't know what it's referring to. When... <sighs> Whatever. See what the fucking keys are. W S D A E Q. Blah blah blah. That's movement. Misc. Journal. Open recent text. Okay, so I need to press M. Alright then. See, there's one of them. Actually, I kind of want to see what this is, I guess. Oh, God. Too much reading. Alright, another region rich with lore is Altshafa. I don't know how to pronounce it. Deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. A quiet forest clad mountain stressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be. Albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motives that keep re reappearing. This story reaches all the way back on the time of the Thirty Years' War. It's said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks, dragged behind them with the reveal of their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, erudite? Visited also... At the start of the 16th century, he resided in the local inn for the fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay at the prominent member of prominent members, excuse me, of stud society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwest glades, only to never be seen again. Reinrich, or Heinrich is known to have passed away in. Grenoble some ten years later. 
he dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alt Tada. I tried. I tr I really fucking tried, man. Come on. Which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby. Alta the the, and like most of these noble birth rumors, are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the histories reveal. A little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman of the Rhineland, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout the presumed lifetime. The family had always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is, in fact, one of and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle alongside with the great leaders of this country. Finally! That wasted a shit ton of time when I could have been solving this puzzle. Alright. Uh, shit. I don't know where the other ones are. Fuck. No, that's not it. So, okay, well, there's, there's three of them. He said. Let's wait for it to go off. I guess. He said, "You good? You be quick." Okay, so there's one, two, uh, another third. Maybe there isn't a third. I don't know. Wait, no, 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 no. There it is. Okay, there's one. Two, and then our third one. Ah! Alright, let's see what we have here. Oh god, another paper. You know what? I'm just gonna stop reading these. Just pause if you want to read them. I'm just gonna skip from now on. This is just wasting too much time. Sorry, but that's just the way it rolls. Oh shit! Come on, you fucking piece of shit! Shit! I don't like that. Hell no. New, 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 new. Alright. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh shit! <laughs> <coughs> okay, he's gone, I guess. Or not. Wait. The fuck, dude? Okay. Well, that's that. Uh, I got the wine cellar key. So we can mosey on out of here. I think that's the only room we have to check. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, never mind. We're not going down there. Fucking shadow, or should I say, bloody snot rocket boogers? Well, that's pretty much what they are. Okay, this episode is going on almost 20 minutes here, so I'm gonna go ahead and save and exit, and pretty much stop from here. There will be a part three next time, fairly soon, I hope. So. Like and comment if you enjoyed watching this, if you want to see more. Um, this has been another episode of Amnesia The Dark Descent Let's Play, and I will see you next time.